Ciao a tutti ragazzi, bentornati sul mio canale. Oggi continueremo a giocare a Alan Wake 2. Allora ragazzi, dobbiamo riprendere da dove ci siamo lasciati. Che cazzo è successo, Vascatti? Uh, Vascatti, aspettate un secondo. Allora ragazzi, dobbiamo riprendere da dove ci siamo lasciati. Uh, praticamente ragazzi, l'ultima volta che abbiamo giocato... Uh, praticamente l'ultima volta che... Abbiamo giocato praticamente, eh, eravamo rimasti qua praticamente, eh, adesso dobbiamo andare alla tavola calda praticamente. Allora, allora. vediamo un po', allora, torna a Bricks Falls, ti porta l'auto, ok, apri Forse c'è il microfono troppo alto. Aspettate. Un secondo. Allora ragazzi, vi stavo dicendo, dobbiamo riprendere eh, da dove ci siamo lasciati. Dobbiamo riprendere. Allora ragazzi, sto registrando per PC. Allora... Vediamo un po' dove porta. Allora, allora, allora. Allora ragazzi, scusate davvero se non ho fatto video per molto tempo, ma purtroppo mi si è rotto il PC, quindi non ho potuto farne. No, io non ne ho potuti fare. Quindi accelera un po', dai. Non perdiamoci tempo. Tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? <coughs> to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. Okay. And want to take out his heart just to throw it away. To stuff in something for us to find. Vamos, then. Vamos, vamos. Spero che l'audio si senta bene, ragazzi. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Guido, io guido. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. Eh. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Ma non capisco perché fa c'è questo piccolo ritardo. Ciao. Allora ragazzi, ti dico Swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Però c'è da dire che il corpo grafico è molto bello. Allora The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Wow. Peccato che non, non l'hanno sotto il eh, patto con i sottotitoli, ragazzi. Ciao. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. 
They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the right type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Thank you. Can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. We looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging mm -hmm. you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Um, so what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. Mm. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Oh, Madonna. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh. oh. And then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Back. Ma... Perché non va? No, dai. Ma dai. A parte che mi serve. Non vuole andare. Dai. Porca. Ok, qua devo andare. Allora. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Mm. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? Vediamo, vediamo, ragazzi. È intrigante questo gioco. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Mm. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Quindi? Andiamo su. Quindi. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. Yeah. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Oh, dear. We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How 
are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. <laughs> Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Eh, questa rose è un po' inquietante, ragazzi. Ma perché non va? Vabbè. Cappellone da casa. Vabbè. Non mi sta andando. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Andiamo, andiamo. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the grand wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Your fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. No, ragazzi, come grafica, sto gioco è spettacoloso, ragazzi. Veramente bellissimo. No, qualcosa di eccezionale. Hey, boss. Ma io non capisco perché non va. Questo è... Ma io voglio fare una cosa prima di tutto. C'è questo lo devo mettere da qualche parte. Lo sto facendo. Ok, qua lo devo mettere. Ok. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Ma come? Allo caso principale. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. No. Non vi sto de
Cazzo va? No. Mannaggia. Qua devo andare. Ma dai! Ma sono sicuro che andava... Non mi sta ricordando. Ah, ok. Ecco. Allora, se scoprono eh, eh, il porto significa se si scopre. Eh. Vabbè, andiamo a ispezionare il corpo, va? Eh? Salve, salve. Hey. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Mm. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Ok, let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Mm. What was the cause of death? Oh, What other clues can... The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? No, I got you some fun, Yondo. They did leave something inside his chest. Te voglio. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Allora, c'è altro da scoprire sul corpo. Cadavere pronto per essere esaminato. Casa del decesso. Come sospettavo che è stato inserito qualcosa. Ma ah. cominciamo. Gli assassini hanno scritto sul cuore come non riesco a capire cosa dice. Non fa senso. A quanto pare, eh, Night Gall ha lottato prima di essere bloccato. Text è smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Allora. Casa del gonfiore sconosciuto. Strani tatuaggi su pelle e cuore. Nella cavità toracica c'era una pagina. Vediamo, vediamo. Vabbè ragazzi, i video comunque li facciamo sempre da 30-35 minuti, eh. purtroppo è infognante, quindi per forza. Io sono sicuro che è ancora il prologo. Nightingale Hunted Saga. Didn't see her. 
The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Ah, Nico. No, 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 wait. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. Oh no. He's coming. Need to be in the light. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Esci da rifugio sicuro. Ho attacchi da casa durante il combattimento. Ora che riparto. Dai, ah, Panico. Eh, fine del capitolo. Taglia. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff <coughs> was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Hello. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. <laughs> Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, mm. their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. 
Vediamo, vediamo ragazzi. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Don't. Sit down. Chi è coinvolto? No, ma c'è qua. Dove cazzo va? E vabbè. Qui? No, ma devo capire ragazzi, è qualcosa di... Ok, questo omicidio me lo chiedo pure io. Aspetta, che dice qua? Allora vediamo se... Aspettate ragazzi, eh? Se c'è tipo qualcos'altro... No? No, ok. Mannaggia, sta cosa del coso mi, mi sta stando sulle palle. Che non sta funzionando il. Del... Vabbè ragazzi, tra poco ci salviamo. Eh. Casi. Caso principale, scopi dove è andato. Omicidio. Caso secondo, caso principale. Allora. Allora. Secondo la pagina, Nathan sarebbe tornato al, a Crown Lake. Ed è posseduto. Ecco, eh, questa pagina no, hanno senso. Allora, il messaggio alla vittima era un collega, la gente spiegava. La vittima era uno dei loro. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, che è stato qui 13 anni fa. Ma questo l'avevo già visto. Saga era tornato a Cauldron Lake. Era lì anche Nightingale was but wasn't a taken a creature of darkness he was beyond her reach where some other strange reality the dark place merged with ours this place and the dark place a tarp thrown over top drowning everything beneath it a flood of darkness soaking into everything spoiling it rotting it the page called this area an overlap saga had to pursue nightingale into the overlap Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Ok. Pronti? We we heard 
gun shops, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of uh. monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll mm. do what we can, man. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Quando non si apre. Ma può fare scommetto. Così. Vediamo che c'è qua. Vabbè, allora andiamo, torniamo a Lake. Salve. No, vabbè, bellissimo. No, vabbè. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call me in case Scusate, ragazzi. Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. This is the same symbol as that cult necklace. Not exactly hiding in the shadows, are they? Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Uh, ci salutiamo, ragazzi. Eh, ma che arriviamo di nuovo? Rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Vai. Eh, però mi sta intrigando questo gioco. Bello. Mm. Clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here. 13 years ago, he was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. The same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books in their heads they were providing oh, mama mia. to bring wake back their imagined prophet after that case i started looking into wake's disappearance on the side and you thought this case might be connected to him his name does keep popping up i just wanted you to have all the facts Next time give them to me before. Allora, eh, siamo ritornati, adesso ci salutiamo ragazzi. Il cuore. Eh. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. 
I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Hello. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. Mm. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity mm -hmm. and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiira. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Well, I need to get back to it. Let's get Almost to the murder done. site, Casey. Si macile amo. About this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. Not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind it rain. Feels like home. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. 
Allora ragazzi, spero che il video vi sia piaciuto. Come sempre, ragazzi, vi chiedo se volete iscrivetevi, lasciate un bel like se il video vi è piaciuto. Un saluto a tutti da Stefano. Ciao ragazzi, ai prossimi video. Ciao con Alan Wake. Ciao.